We have a look at BCA. I've had a quick look, trying to have a look at Aston Barkley. Isn't it? If I do it there, I could just about crop out the door. I tried to buy an M4 the other day, did not I? Best car bought and best car sold. Toby's been editing like crazy because we've got what eight videos in the pipeline, probably. He needs a little helper to help him with his editing. Um, I've been on my mad laser focus ting, just trying to get through some admin stuff that's been while we were away last week. Had some kind of accountant stuff going on, some financy type stuff going on. So I'm trying to just work my way through that admin and that sort of stuff. Not my well, it's, not, it's not a strong point, I can do it. In fact, whenever I get around to doing it, I'm glad that I did, because it took me a fraction of the time I thought it would, but I just don't like doing it. I don't get into selling cars and business to sit here doing emails back and forth with your accountant. Uh, but, you know, these are things you have to do. So, yeah, I'm going through and sorting out that. I tried to buy some cars today. Um, at BCA. Dan sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> trying to sneak in. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. trying to buy a couple at BCA, but I haven't had much luck. Prices actually seem quite strong. I thought they would have been dipped down compared to when we were at G3 the other day. They weren't, you know, they were pretty reasonable there, but come back down south and they're strong again. So, we have a look at BCA. I've had a quick look, trying to have a look at Aston Barkley, and I'm going to have a look at Mannheim. I never buy from Mannheim, but Dave, my mate of Car Dealer Pro, he buys everything from Mannheim, so. I just hate their website, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. I've got accountant to do another email to someone at Aston Barkley, actually, and then I'll look at Mannheim. I've just got to finish doing the stuff with the accountant. Um, yeah, other than that, we're the guys are getting through. I need to get some more cars here. Just agreed to buy a car off of James at Chops. We're having a Mercedes estate off of him, so that'd be nice if we can start getting some trade going between the two of us. Because we're sending Josh up to Yorkshire on Wednesday. He's going to pick up. I got that BMW 318D. You may or may not see him by this point. And James has got a Nissan Note up there, I think. So he's going to pick those up. It's going to take him four hours or so to get there. So let's say an hour of buggering around, getting loaded up, and then he's going to head back down to where we stayed in Derby at the ISIS budget. I mean, sorry, it's IBIS budget, but I mean, it'd feel a bit like a prison cell. But either way, it'll do the job and it was cheap. Josh can kip there for the night and then he'll come back here, drop off our BMW, pick up James's Hyundai i20, which is currently making my farm look scruffy, and he'll take those down there and then he'll bring back our new Mercedes estate. So that's good. Try and see what we can find to buy tomorrow. Just want more stock. I'm, I'm raring to go. After going and being away for a couple of days, going and seeing Jamie, um, keen to. Uh, Get a lot of stock here. Just 
try and get some deals done. But to be fair, we're on, what day are we on? The 11th, and we've got seven on the board. Not bad, they're pretty good value ones as well. 11,995, 11,495, 9,700 plus fat. 6,995, 11,1295, 10,995, 10,995, so you've got like a 10 grand average there. It's pretty decent. Um, we just want to do more. More deals, more deals, more deals. Now that we haven't got to do customer rubbish. Um, but yeah, it's not actually a very busy day today. Quite chill one, isn't it, Tobes? Yeah, nice. He's going to struggle to find anything else to show you, but that's what's happening. Did it work on the other TV yesterday? Yeah. Oh. Which one, that one? I don't know why it put two there. Because there's only one on the thing. But, yeah. Look at that! Now we can have another place for sales scrolling and probably other things as well. We should put next base stuff on here as well. Probably we can adapt it, but at least we know it works for now. Now all we need to do is turn the sleep timer off, don't we? Sleep timer off. Well, it obviously can't be because it they still seem to turn themselves off, but hey ho. Yeah, yeah, a lot going on. Yeah, just the rear corner view that's cool. Big fat exhaust and spoilers and bits and stuff. Probably because it looks like a tonka toy or something. Yeah, that's it, yeah. We've had drama this morning. Dan's been having an argument with the mechanics and the mechanics have effed and jeffed, as Dan put it, at him. And so he's gone home. Run off. I'm, I'm curious to hear from the YouTube experts of employment, law, fairness and morality on how you handle that situation. Seems it's a bit of a he said, he said. I bet everyone watching at home would love to be able to, if they had an argument with someone at work, one of their colleagues, that they could just get their stuff and go home. Leaving yourself much option. Oh, yeah, at some point, yeah, that is covered in shit. Just turn the walls in this side as well. Same choice then. What's that? It's open. It's lovely. Yeah. His one? No, he's got to buy it. It's lovely. Oh, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's really nice it. actually. It's nice. Because it was a YouTube subscriber before the front, wasn't it? I believe so, Alton. Yeah. chilling side of things just yet. I think it must have pumped on the fan outside though and I can't hear it vibrating through here like we do in the container so that's good news. <laughs> You're not going to hear that yeah. like a plane's taken off. Oh yeah, it's getting cold now. Okay, 
coal would work, so we'll put. Ah, uh, there we go. Dark headlight housing, high gloss kidney grill, dark chrome tailpipes, black door mirrors. Yeah, it's just like everything yeah, just dark. <laughs> black uh, Audi. Drug dealer special. Edition. Like a black edition, yeah. I got a shadow edition. Derek, has bought the ADA4. What, the guy you came in earlier? No. Oh. Somebody else. Oh, it's it's Derek. It. Yeah. You're not going to mess with the right, Derek. Yeah. Who's there? We don't know yet. No idea, but he's... This is the beauty of the Auto Trader reserve for £99 feature. We are basically Kazoo. They can do what they want. And they reserve it, we deliver. Well, not necessarily deliver, you might want to collect it, but either way. I don't know what that's doing. I'm actually going to do yeah. something in a minute. <laughs> if I get cold, I'll let you know. I think it's I think it's changing from cold to hot. It's trying to warm itself up a little bit. <laughs> oh hi there! I was just to fix your truck as well. Derek. Hey, just had to fix your truck as well. Oh, really? Good. Why was it? The fuse gone. Couldn't find the fuse. Oh, oh yeah, managed Jason. I turned it off. Ferro motors. Put it. You had it on cold um, on like twenty five degrees. Um, so I put it down to sixteen. It's trying to come through cold. Lovely. And now I've got it on to warm up, but it's just not doing anything. But I think that could also, be because it's like. It might need time between. Uh, oh, actually. It's kind of what next? Sort of Funny enough, I had a test drive in it earlier. But yeah, lovely job. Nice. Where they've got these lights, the tiny little rooms they take pictures of cars in. So if we use that as our photo room with the yeah. nice lights on and whatever, and then you could just leave the last photograph car in there as a display. Yeah. We can queue cars all the way up that side then, yeah. get a few more here, yeah. even if you've only got one car in there. But um, yeah. have to be a little bit clever how we You might have to go in one direction, take a few pictures, and then spin yeah, it around. It's like um, a 30mm lens, quite all like a fit, like something really flat. So we can take well, what I'd like to do is, if you can reverse out. that Golf back yeah. and Get the Porsche out and park that up on the forecourt. We'll yeah. put the Golf in there as the test dummy. Yeah. Yeah. Try some angles and see kind of what it looks like. I'm going to get the light. The lights are on order. Anyway. Yeah. And Brad's going to fit. Um, we'll just have to go up the way that you are happy with how the cars look on the outside. Yeah. I was looking yeah. at. Um, I think probably from over the back way towards this way. We'll see. From what way? Like so, the cars are here. We're looking kind of at an angle outside, looking in. To yes. Get yeah. Yes. Far away because of the light and everything as well. Yeah. How far can I go back? Damn, the brakes are stuck on. 
I don't want. I don't want to give it beans. In yeah. I don't, well, they just they've been sitting for such a long time. Yeah, um, did you get the handbrake off? Yeah, give it a try. Where are you trying to go? Just, I need to get it out, but it won't move. I don't want to. Like, you can floor it and drive it to the wall. <laughs> no, I don't want to floor it. No, it, 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 it wouldn't move anywhere. That feels stuck. <laughs> It's just a test dummy, isn't it? Let's see it's the new reveal. Imagine if Dan just set it into the wall. <laughs> That's all I'm worried about. Like, oh. Joe would have been upset. Mm. Also, I'm glad you moved the hole. Oh, I didn't want to drive into the wall. That's a hell of a. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've got to take oh, Right. A lovely, lovely board. Right, Macaulay, could you go up to the post office? I can. In that Ooh. hashish, 900 yep. quid. Nine. Oh, where's yeah. the post office? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> He's got a sack truck to get out there. Um, <laughs> do that, and then if you can swing in the shop and grab some milk on the way back, use that same card. Yep, that's fine. I've ordered some hexagonal lights for in here. You know the ones that everyone got? They were really in fashion, and now they're probably not that fashionable, but I bought them anyway. Uh, my theory being, we could take photographs in here with the nice lights on and whatever, have them consistent. We might have to do a bit of tidying up, maybe get rid of the radio and just, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but so you've got a nice consistent background. And then that means that our photo corner at the top, you probably squeeze another two or three cars in the space that we take photos in at the moment. So that's a bit more stock. We can stock. So, might make a profit, you know, one day. That's a plan. Anyway, they were um, they were only five hundred quid for a set that's going to be four point eight meters by four point eight meters, which will be the, the vast majority of this seating space. It's like two car parking spaces. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed, it looks all right. We need to paint the floor. We need to paint these cabinets. Get some of the crap out of here, um, and then I need to kind of jig this around and make sure we can actually get it in the right place. Um, funny enough, what it was, I'll tell you what it was, when I was with Jamie at Car Key last week, we were talking about funding things and how sometimes cash flow and whatever, and I said, yeah, he said, you've got a company card of 150 grand, and I said, I've got, I got one, it's not that big, it's 35 grand or whatever, but yeah, I try and put all my expenses through that to earn points. Um, and he said, is that capital on tap? And it is, that's who I use as well. And after that, I thought I'd speak to Capital on Tap and see if there's any deals to be done. So I have got a link, hopefully by this point, that I'll put in the description. If you're a business owner, you've a limited company, you've been training at least three months, then you can sign up and try and get a Capital on Tap card. You can get Avios points, and you can also just earn rewards, which is what I do. So currently, I've got about £1,000 worth of rewards, if not more. If I convert it into Amazon vouchers, you can buy whatever you want with it. You get an extra 2%. Um, what I thought I'd do is I'd just convert it into balance, buy £500 worth of lights, but it hasn't really cost me anything. Just by putting everything through my capital on tap card and clearing it off at the end of the month, I've got some free hexagonal lights, so it makes me feel much better about it. So check the link if you want one of those. I think it's the The first picture, kind of here, in from that way. Yeah, I mean, what I would have probably what I would have thought, is you almost want to drive it in head on and then reverse into that space. You can still do, it's important to have the driver's door, supposedly. Yes, definitely. And then you would take it into that corner and then you could kind of go around. Or facing that way? No, so if you drove in this way, yeah, I mean, it would be sort of facing that way, I guess, unless, I'm going to move, I'm going to get some of this shit out and I'll have a wiggle around. Yeah, okay. But I don't know what this thing on that camera is like, but I mean, for this one, for example, I mean, that car is completely in. Oh, now, yeah. I'm now going to start thinking, oh, do I get rid of the black line? 
and have pure white. Mm -hmm. But I still think once the lights are on, it will look alright. Yeah, I'll worry about too much there. But even. I've got these lights in there. I mean, I don't even think it's going to matter too much that it's all different on that side. No, I, yeah, I, so I'll get over to the back way. It's, it's relatively plain, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to be nice lighting in here. Because obviously, ideally, if we can get the first picture with better Even with just those lights on, it makes it look really shiny. So you could almost just put it straight in, but I think I'll try a few different angles and yeah, whatever. Well, you but you've got the logo in the yeah, background. So the and first picture you want, ideally, if you've got the front pictures, the logo in the background. But even if you just kind of reversed it on that sort of angle, stood outside, I mean, yeah. it's going to have the nice hexagonal lighting on it. Yeah, it that's what I, mean, I think. It's not shiny as anything. You want to be kind of as far back as possible within obviously reason about three or four metres, but with the logo in the background. So if, if I just as well, once if we get it. Trying not to speak to Mark and getting back in to scrape up the floor, paint it again because just for the fresh floor as well, it makes it really bright and clean. And yeah, yeah. So I'll try and get that painted Friday or Saturday so we can leave it to cure over the weekend because Brad will be in here next week doing the lights. Which we'll just have instead of these fluorescents, maybe we'll keep those two fluorescents and these two. Ah, I know someone. Had, I saw someone had left that one on. Yeah, maybe it works better. I mean, that's what those were for. But if that one works better, then uh, to be honest, I didn't notice it because I, when I came in Sunday night, whatever it was, um, I, I flipped the lights and I realised I flipped the wrong ones and I put on what I thought was the right one, so it might have been the wrong one. But I thought it looked all right. Better to use the least energy. Yeah. LED is. Oh yeah. It should be, but so are they controlled? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the far right switch, it used to have spots written on it. Yeah. Which is just so turn the two left ones so, on and turn the two right ones off. Two desks and a car parked in here. Yeah. But I think we're probably better off using it as a photo area. When you're doing pandemics and stuff. Then you can sit here. I know, but car. imagine how cold it's gonna be in yeah, sure. winter. It'll be nicer yeah. then so the, the photos in the forecourt are nice, but this will be nicer. Well it's consistency is yeah. the main thing. Because some of the ones on the forecourt look dark, some of them they got rain on, yeah. some of them they have it's a same light no matter what then. Yeah, this doesn't have to be like rain. Yeah. Then say for example if you had the um, Porsche going out or something, you'd sold it, you could have that part right in the middle in a nice clean thing. You have a bottle of shampoos and a thing of flowers on there. You could put a YouTube video of Porsche 911's on track compilation or something <laughs> yeah. in the background. You know, a, a, a selection of Porsches with buxom blonde ladies just to convince them they've bought the right car. Mine out to sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. right, we'll get ready to um I think I'm gonna have me brew and then we'll Jason did you get it now? I'll take some photo of you. <laughs> Boy that Jordan somehow puts in and now dumped us with. Yeah. Uh, uh so Mark going out. he makes a start on that to yeah. bail Jordan out and make us not look like idiots. Yeah. Or if we've got stuff that's our priority, we'll do that and it's Jordan's problem is Jordan's problem. Uh to be perfectly honest. We've done the seats on the Yaris, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. The transit needs to be worked on, so does the Bilingo. Yeah. That's it, it's just kind of approaching readiness and it's going like this week. 
The next thing is just like the ADA 5 convertible, and I think that's it to be clean for the fourth. The ADA 5, yeah. the people yesterday, pretty much is it, clean. This thing is classical. Just leave the inside burn. Well, make a start, do the basics on the outside, get the bonnet open, yeah. the grease in there, yeah. acid the wheels and whatever, and do the outside, and you can do all the inside. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fair enough. Yeah. Make a start, and then, yeah. And then, yeah, so get the outside done. So you say, look, Jordan, I made a start for you. Yeah. But you've got the interior yeah, to do. Yeah, you yeah, don't have to stand there hoovering all day. No. Um, and then we'll get you on something else. Okay. okay. No worries. Oh, I'll stick out here, man. Yeah, don't worry. I think you know what? Um, number plate bash thing. Um, I feel like we should combine the two so we can have both running out there. And the number plates out there as well. Then we'll get the um, number plates off the wall out the in, in reception. Right. Gonna have a few sips of my brew. Oh, I need to. I'm gonna have a, while I do that. I'm gonna look to see if there's any. I need to put boots on at BCA, and then we'll go and BCA. You're there. No photographs, please. Just in the back, do it. Must take a while while we go there. Multitasking. Someone hop in and give it a little rev. We'll see what it sounds like. Oh, here comes our Vitara. That's not going to sound as nice as this bad boy. So now I've got to factor in a replacement exhaust for it. It's quite a nice car, Tobes. No, you can't do any off-roading. Um, I was meant to look in mine, but I didn't see. I think that's just Poe, isn't it? Or, uh, yeah. I think that's something. Funny. Okay, so we'll go to the, the world's most expensive fuel station that's on the route back. Unless you, do you want to drive that or do you want to drive my vehicle? I'd drive mine. I'd drive this one. I'll the big one. Yeah, no, I'd drive this Right, sorted. So I'd see that the, the, the bottom of the gearbox again, but it, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't slave cylinder oil, because it was quite dirty. But then it could be mixing with clutch dust. It's, um, it's engine oil. Yeah, it's definitely engine oil. Um, it's, so it's dripping off the starter as well. The top. DPS will come up on it, so. Shogun. Shogun. You think it is a starter then? Well, no, 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 that's the last bit that needs to be looked at. Well, take like, it off and then see what happens. Just to yeah. see if it's frozen, just to see if it seized itself. Um, and if you want, the only other thing I was going to say was, a, help me with shuffling the fork up, but there'll be time for that after and start painting this cabinet. Mark's coming on Friday and he could do it, but it might be good to get one coat on. Yeah. Mark paints himself and the cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've seen those problems. Mark, mate, you can't do that. I'm going black. <laughs> the goth room later, of course. Yeah. Okay, look all right. Try and make it nice and uniform when we take our pictures. And then Friday. Take that TV off the wall, I reckon. Let's do that because we can unplug it. Painters and decorators of the world, don't judge me. I know there's at least one, Sean Saunders, painting and decorating. Always comments, especially when Mark's splashing paint around. Apologies, I know it's probably not a very good job, but you know, I'll do what I can. Yeah, I can't hear anything. But I do reckon there's no cooling in that. Well, that was loose. That won't make any difference because it's not under pressure. It just uh, all no, these. No, just see what's in. What these do is they draw. When the engine cools down, mm -hmm. they draw coolant back. So the reason why it wasn't drawing back is because of the state of that cap, probably. Mm. But generally, if I was expecting it to leak through there, I'd either expect it to be blown back out here, which is what happens because it just goes straight out here, or it'd be all snot. But I mean, this cap is I mean, fucked, the seal's broken, and everything. But um, it's holding pressure. I think it is, um, there's definitely just water in that cooling system. That's yeah, not, there's no coolant in there. No, yeah, it's been overheated, um, but where the water is. You just gone? keep topping it up, and then bam, yeah. it should pop. 
that's the only thing I can say. It's been uh, it's been overheated and seized. Right, I'm going to tell you the news. Charles at the sale boy gate. Yeah, I've got time. I've got really I mean, it's, it's seized and it's... That's all there is to it. Going to need a new engine. That ain't worth it. No, probably, probably not. Not for yeah. Um, so we checked the state of the coolant in the actual radiator. Um, it looks like it's just water, so it looks like it's just to keep being topped up. Yeah. Um, but starting those off and the engine still won't turn, it, it's it, it seems. It's Fubar then. It, it is. We'll have to sell it to Fubar. Fubar seller. It never let Jason buy it in that hole again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was when we brought it in, it was tapping his head off a lot. Yeah, I mean, that was a pulley thing. Yeah. Uh, and belts, and we fixed that. It was. But it looks like so there's not much coolant in the actual radiator. I want to check the drain over the, the, the drain at the bottom. It, it all only water came out. So it looked like as I've been drinking coolant, um, or it's just been topped up continuously. But yeah. Anyway, I'll go put a sample like back on and put it back together, and then food food bar. Yes. What? dry for today. What day is it tomorrow? It's Thursday. Maybe we'll put another coat on. We've got Mark coming in to come and need to scrape up the floor because look, this bit of the paint's fine where it's been just on the normal concrete. Yes, it's not the smoothest of floors, but this bit here where we've had rubber mats down from Big Doug. Um, it's not a person, it's a website. Where we had the ramp and everything in here. It must be something to do with how the moisture was sat in there. It's just all flaking up, so. We're going to need to give that a properly good scrape and get one of those like wire brush angle grinder things on a home. Yeah, fresh paint on the floor. Hexagonal lights in. Thumping sound system. Not having a waterfall. I want to, I'm next thing I need to remind me, I want to look for some white like cable management and stuff. For, uh, Thingy here, just because it looks crap. I suppose I just put trunking down, couldn't I? White trunking. That'd be better. Probably got a bit of that somewhere. Yeah, I feel like whale well noises are. And every now and then you just hear, buy the car. You want it. Okay, just take a quick minute to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Vehicle Score once again. It is the free car check that you can use online. It gives you a score on your car from 1 to 999 based on its MIT history, age, mileage, and many other factors. And there's a million and one other things it can do as well. So just to demonstrate this, I'm going to input a car that you'll see later in this week, actually. You'll see me collect this on Saturday, so make sure you stay till the end. It's a Jaguar XF Sport Brake. A lovely thing. Um, the reg is Mike Lima, 1.5 Whiskey Zulu X-Ray. We can get our score. It tells us that it's 812 out of 999. That's absolutely amazing. It gives us good parts and bad bits. On the good side, last MIT had no comments. Recent MIT pass rates high. Mileage is between 30 and 80,000. Bad bits, none. It's just the age and mileage that's taken into account there. Um, we can look at all kinds of things from vehicle details to vehicle performance. Let's find out how many brake ponies this has got. 161 brake ponies. Uh, 0 to 60 in 10.5 seconds. It's not actually that quick really is it but it is only the 2.2 not the three liter that's probably why so uh, we'll make it a bit more economical i suppose you can look at the mt history you can look at the mileage tracker you can find um vehicle estimates on what it you know currently is worth what it might be worth in the future there's even an ai mechanic so if you said my jaguar xf vents won't open why it might come back and tell you that there's you know something you need to check it's incredibly smart I've also just noticed there's a section on here that says, where did you hear about vehicle score? And of course, being a loyal follower of the channel, you'll hit that one that says shifting metal, just to keep me in vehicle scores good books. All this stuff's really handy when you're looking at buying a car or you're sifting through loads of different cars, give you a score, give you an idea of that car, whether it's worth buying. 
But before you hand over your hard-earned cash, what you do need to do is do a history check and Vehicle Score can sort those out for you. We've got either the Salvage Report, which is £2.97, the Ultimate Report, £8.97, or the Ultimate Report Plus, which is the same as the Ultimate Report, but it's got £10,000 worth of Experian data guarantee. So should it turn out that that car does have a category marker against it, which it didn't say on the report, you've got cover for up to 10 grand. So ultimate peace of mind, that's £11.97. But if you use my code shifting metal 20 it's £9.58. Absolute bargain. optometrists out there who can fix glasses. I just need to go for an eye test, to be honest, so I can get a new set because they won't honor my old prescription because it's, I guess, over two years old or something. But my eyes are really starting to suffer now. And uh, I've started playing video games again. I started playing Call of Duty. Do you play Call of Duty in that? No, I'm too mature. Um, but I'll be like looking at the end and I can't read things and then this is like, they're moving too fast. I can't see them. So I just need to get these fixed. Um, Currently my other option is under, but it's sellotape on there and sellotape it to my head. God, the car trade's glamorous. You own a car dealership and it's just money, money, money. Sellotape glasses to your head. So I might try and fix these, but yeah, see what? I'll make a note right now. Better call spec savers. Problem is, I don't know if they have me because I keep booking appointments too now. I've booked and then just completely forgot about the not turned up. And I was saying to Sophie, oh, I have to book again. She's like, you can't go there. You can't go there. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. You booked and you didn't turn up. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not very good. It's, you know, irritating, but... Um, what can you do? Four o'clock, Tobes. Where is the day gone? Why do people insist on doing this? Get them to dry it off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I've got lots of baby wheel. There's new screws in there. Good quick detailers as well, you can use as a spray wax. That is a really good one by Turtle Wax. And we can do ceramic range. I say new. It's like half a year old, now or a year old. Okay. Just about, if I do it there, I could yeah. just about crop out the door. That's about as good as it gets, I reckon. So close. I'm not taking bloody ten pictures and using one. Keys. Just 
just got your message yeah. from yesterday, Bruce. Chase. Bruce. 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 Oh, the fact that you're late. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I just found bloody mobile phone as well. I tried to bring it all morning. Yeah. I thought I'd lost it. Yeah. Kid, mate. Morning. Seeding a, a tire, that was it. Uh, to win this, otherwise, it's all done and dusted. Just needs to have a mop. The mini we've got a spring for, and that needs to have a tire seal as well. Excuse me. Um, I would have got them to do those today, but I kind of want to get the moment they've done either of the cars they're currently on. The Golf Plus needs to come in and get his gear out. That really is the priority job. Yeah. Um, and then our van is the next one. Sweet. Sweet is enough. You wouldn't imagine that something that's got a big hex in it, you must have to individually clip each bit together. I would assume so. Because it's 4.8 metres by 2.4 metres each. It's pretty much oh, almost. Really that's huge, yeah, yeah. 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 But, um, by 8 foot wide. Yeah. So I've got two of them. I've got a wire suspension cable thing coming to hang in the front middle. Very switch. Make sure you get enough into the vans. Actually, that van has that window anyway, so... Most vans get under there. Yeah, but not a... Not high I don't know there. how we're going to find space or whatever, but, you know, we're putting stuff in. Yeah. Maybe you can do all the pictures, but at least if you've got each individual, like, original, like the headline picture... Yeah, the worst case scenario, like I said, you take the main photo in here, and the rest will be down inside because it's that it's that main yeah, photo. Yeah. There maybe or something. Yeah. Because I did. There was a little. There's quite a lot of manoeuvre involved to get the, the photos I yeah, wanted, I mean, but it's not too bad. Put it there. Get your headline pictures. And yeah. Put it straight in the middle, and then just go around. See how that pans out. You, I had to park the BMW. Had to park it literally over there to get this side, and then no, really. over there to get this side. It's benefit of an iPhone, I guess, because you can zoom out. Yeah, it looks, it looks good, though. That's the that's the thing. But yeah, like I say, it doesn't matter because I can take you know the remainder of the photos. I can take outside. So I've got the headline one and the nice indoor one. Well, you could get yeah, get like uh, the get main most picture. Of them. You can get a lot of detail pictures under the nice lights. Yes. Then do like interior ones inside, and then you can. Yeah. No, we kind of want to just then drive it off somewhere like not the um 
Yeah. Cemetery or whatever. Yeah. And you can just get a few nice outside pictures then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. Right, rock it. Yeah, it's me, it me and Thingy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How's that working? All <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> okay, just so follow the corner then, because uh, oh my god, I'm just fucking not my hand out of the way. Here. Five, three, two, one. Well, I've got like, no corners in it. So I reckon yeah, something. Yeah, it, it there the was like barely anything in there. Because your back's a bit over, a bit follow that side as tight as you can, and I'll tell you to come. I'll tell you when to come over. Usually, you're gonna go over these straps, with it. Everything else works. Got a DVD player in there. Huh? Can't do the windows up. Comes up with uh, abnormal voltage input. System shutting down. All right. That's no, cool. There's no voltage input. Because this keeps clicking out of boost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, A4. Okay. Are they sold A4? Yeah. I think that's it, it failed. Okay. Um, uh, no. It only really takes one person, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this will take two of us, so you can drop the phone on the way back. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't roll it off, can you? <laughs> After it's in, yeah, you need to be pushing. Has it got a tow bar on it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this one does, this big thing does. You could always throw, yeah, you could always throw. So just strap it to the back of something else. Just pull it off. It's another tow bar or something. And yeah. just drive away. Just leave it where, leave it where it's yeah. left. Leave it where it's left. Or do you want me to do that and you go do the western thing? Well, that's that, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, right, we'll figure it out. Sweet. Power Yeah. Where did that come from? Sophie bought it. Um, and it had a coolant leak and it's also got an, Macaulay's done a radiator on it apparently. Well, I guess while we were away last week. And it now has an oil leak and it had DPF issues. Thanks Sophie, another piece of shit you bought for no reason whatsoever. And I'm stuck here fixing it as if I haven't got enough work to do. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, 
smoke coming off the battery. I saw him walking back from the, uh, wherever he was. Oh no. Beast. God, that is flat. The battery system won't even take it. Well, I'll be pushing this. Uh, There's a collection of brollies at the front of the building. Oh, Could you yeah. start there with a the brolly? Oh, oh, yeah, look at that! Brian <laughs> Dolomite spread. Yeah. You know what's cool about them? That's 16 pounds far on the road. Guesses. Are they going to be good or are they going to be rubbish? How much are they? 260 pounds a set. A set? What's the size for a set? 4.8 by 2.4. I reckon they'll look good. Yeah, they're going to. The light, yeah, the light, the light out might be great, but they'll have like a nice hexagonal reflection on the car. Oh, Brad will have fun building that. <laughs> million pieces so before they get lost. Right, so got to BCA Bristol. Seems like uh, Saturday's the day to come because it's absolutely dead here. But because I've 
booked in as a single transporter, I've got to go through security and in as an inexperienced driver of these car. <laughs> yeah, in all honesty, it's been a while since uh, I've done collections. I can't even figure out where the start button is. So, let's go around. That's the one. It's in a UX. UX. Just, um, behind those uh, transporters there. If you want to park in uh, there, maybe being on the floor there. Yeah, no uh, problem at all. Bring that back to the window when you're, when you're loaded, ready to go. Thank you very much. No problem, give us a shout. Thank Will do. Thank you, mate. This makes it a bit easier. Right, we'll park up here and we'll go and find our jig. So this is where the lads come fairly often and we'll pick up our car. This is the very first time I've been in here. we has been stopping around with Bristol over the last couple of years since everything's been going on in the world and they've sort of changed their business model. Uh, so it's the first time I've been in here, but seems like they've been getting it a bit better organized. He said we're in U8 or something, which is behind the trucks. Right, let's do this sensibly. Let's have a look. Uh, I can't see it. Eight, he said it was behind, so maybe it is over here. Don't know, I'll uh, join me again when I found it. Eventually. Um, fairly certain that's it. Uh, look at that. Jaguar XF Sportback Luxury. They call it. Quite nice in there, isn't it? Had one of these in a sport back before. There's RV5 and spare key, so that's good to see. Looks all right. I can't remember what group I bought this from, but it says it's come from Formula Prestige Motors. Interesting. We'll Google that when we get back. Does the boot shut off the button? No. Right, let's get her loaded up. Vents work, that's always a good sign in an XF. These vents that roll out, that's the number one thing that tends to not work. Right, fan speed. Turn that down. I think, yeah, I've got a reversing camera. Another premium repair going on over there, We're ready for it to go for the auctions. There's our truck. How do we get round to it? Right then, rounding out the end of the week, we need to do a best car bought and best car sold. Sold that one this week. I think I talked about that in the end of the last weekly, saying what a nice buy it was from Elton. And sold it this week, just gone like that. Why not? It's a lovely car. Um, Trying to think what else we've bought. I bought quite a lot, actually. Um, 
I know what we should do. We should be nice. We'll talk about the one we bought from James of Chop's Garage. But I mean, we've got an A5 convertible. We bought that this week. This has just come in part exchange today. Little beauty. This is a bargain, really. I mean, it's not huge margins in it, but it just seems like a cheap car for what it is. A 65 plate insignia, which in my head, head you know, a 15 plate insignia is like brand new. But obviously it's not, it's nine years old. It's on 125, 126,000 miles and we gave 2,100 pounds for it. That seems really good value. Um, then what else have we bought? Ah, this is the one. We got this from James at Chops Garage. We were talking about this, I think, when we were away at G3 and he said he's got this Merc. It's not really his bag. Would I be interested in it? And I said, yes, we need to refurb the wheels. It needs a good clean. It hasn't had any of that stuff yet, but I like these C240 whatever, what are they? W204s, I should say, Mercs. Um, and then we've got to do a best car sold, haven't we? Um, then, best car sold. Um, I think we've done about 10 so far for this month. We're on the 16th, so um, it's okay. We could do better. We sold this, we saw this arriving. Was it this week or last week, Toby? Could have been last week, uh, sounding like a bag of nails. Whatever it was, they've sorted that out. It's good and sold and whatever. The sort of Humpty Dumpty wagon. But obviously someone needed one. I think it's because it's seven seats. Always popular seven seats, isn't it? Or the Golf GTI Edition 35. This is looking very nice now. I can't remember if this was actually sold this week or last week. It probably last week. We've had the wheels powder coated. They've done all the servicing, bits and pieces. And yeah, it's just... A very nice car that one got the jag xf that you saw me pick up this morning that should be quite a nice car um monday one of the lads is going up to bca walsall and they're picking up a very nice volvo s90 i saw one of those at um jamie's place car key and i was like that looks very nice um mine isn't as nice as his though unfortunately his was like an r design whatever one mine isn't this week that's what we've bought. I can't think what else, but we will talk it over next week. Our raffle ended yesterday. Sadly, we didn't sell quite enough tickets. We needed to sell uh, 4,500. I think in the end we sold about 3,000 paid tickets. Um, but that means Adam, I can't remember his surname, but I put it up on all my social stuff. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's shifting underscore metal. Uh, he won 3,108 quid and we raised 1,240 odd quid for uh, Ben, Support for Life. They help you with anyone who's been in the motor trade or used to work in the motor trade. Uh, if you need help with mental health stuff, with physical support, um, with help getting into work, things like that, they are there to support you. So that was a very worthwhile um, course. So I'm pleased that, you know, it's, thank you everyone who got involved anyway, even if we didn't raffle off the car. Don't know what we'd do with that next, whether we just try and trade that on because again, it doesn't fit our new profile of being good boys and selling sensible stuff, um, which hasn't really worked, has it? Considering the stuff I've bought recently. I was trying to buy an M4 the other day, wasn't I? Yeah, old habits die hard. Um, yeah, so can't think what else is happening. It's been quite a good week, do you think, Tobes? Mm. It's, it's difficult to get much enthusiasm out of him. He is only 18. Uh, I think it's been a pretty good week. This was our other one that came from G3, actually. Which has got a... I don't know if we talked about it much in the video. What we didn't talk about when we were at G3, which was last week, is that I made a boo-boo with the mics. and So every time I tried to talk, um, James was also teed in with one of these mics into the same receiver. So I'd be like, oh, yeah, look at this. And you'd hear James go, hello, mate, on the phone. Yeah, yeah, I need a car transported. And you couldn't hear what I was saying. It was a complete schoolboy error. So what I would have said at the time was... Look, it's got a fancy kind of flaky black roof. I didn't know whether it had been wrapped or painted, but I'm pretty sure it's been wrapped. So we could peel that off, but we'll leave it on. Someone might like it. Um, lots of people like the black roof thing, don't they? A bit weird being that metallic-y, but hey-ho. We've been painting the floors and all that sort of stuff. So next week's going to be exciting. We'll be getting those hexagonal lights in up on the ceiling for the new showroom slash photo room and the floors being painted, all that sort of stuff. So. If you haven't already, subscribe. This is what I'm getting at here. Most of you 
I don't even know. You know, people at the end of a video, they're like, 75% of you, I don't know what it is, but I bet a lot of you haven't, so would you mind? It really helped me out. Um, yeah, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you like the video. Um, what else? If you want an awesome mug like this, they're on offer at the moment. I think I did an offer through February, and I just haven't taken it off. So if you want to take advantage of that in March and April, whenever you're watching this, you can get 10% off. You can get mugs, hats, stickers, T-shirts, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so we can keep the lights on. That would really help. And yeah, it's starting to rain. So I've waffled enough. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do all the liking and sharing and tell your friends about us. Everyone, do you know what? You get people coming in now and like, oh, oh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm waffling on again. I know, I'm sorry, but if I can just hold you for two more minutes, I've got another anecdote. I do like them. Our, um, some of our like finance reps and things come in now and we're like a selling point. They'll be like, oh yeah, shifting metal. They're one of our accounts and whatever. I feel like I should be getting paid out of that somehow, but I'm not. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next week.